Today we gonna show you 2024 Hyundai Tucson facelift exterior and interior details and review, and explain the details of the car. We hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. Besides expanding the family with new models, like the recently unveiled Ionic 5N, Hyundai is also working on the successors of several existing vehicles. One of them is the Tucson, which is not on the chopping block yet, but on the facelifted one, as it's about to embrace its mid-cycle refresh. Due to the heavy camouflage of the scoop prototypes, making out the novelties is very tricky when it comes to the front end and impossible at the back. Still, the Korean car mark will likely play it safe, as the only things that should change on the outside are the front and rear lighting units and the bumpers. The wheels might be new, and they could also expand the color palette with fresh hues, but other than that, we wouldn't look for additional updates. The same goes for the powertrain family, which comprises gasoline and electrified units in Europe. In the United States, you can order it with a 187 horsepower 2.5 liter 4 cylinder mill and with hybrid and plug-in hybrid assemblies. If anything, we think Hyundai might tweak the engines on the overseas variants, perhaps to make them a bit more frugal and less polluting. That's our two cents anyway, and we'll find out if we're right or wrong probably in a few months when the facelifted Tucson is expected to be officially unveiled. Unofficially, however, the wraps have already come off courtesy of the peeps at Colsa this time. Their renderings portray the 2024 Tucson with a few updates at both ends. Up front, it sports a revised lighting signature with fewer LEDs, new headlamps, and a different bumper that has a revised central air intake. Quite strangely, the digital illustrations imagine it with the same taillights, which retain the full-width light bar. The Tucson logo now sits on the left side of the tailgate, and the Hyundai badge was removed altogether. The rear bumper is new, and the diffuser has a sportier design. The reflectors were moved further down, and they're surrounded by new trim that somewhat mirrors the look of exhaust tips. Although they may seem new, the wheels carry over from the current Tucson, and the black plastic trim on the lower parts of the body is still present. But despite this rugged Y feature, you shouldn't expect to do any serious off-roading in your Tucson, which is a crossover and not a body-on-frame truck. It's built on the N3 platform, which also underpins models such as the Santa Cruz, Santa Fe, Sonata, and Staria, and the Kia Carnival, Sorento, Sportage, K5, and K8. Even though these renderings are on the realistic side, we will find out if they're spot on or not in the coming weeks slash months as the heavy camouflage starts coming off the spied prototypes. The 2024 Hyundai Tucson is due to receive a facelift in Europe by the end of this year, ahead of expected Australian arrivals sometime next year, but spy photos show the changes are largely skin deep. The latest Hyundai Tucson went on sale in Australia two years ago, but it will soon mark three years since it was unveiled by Hyundai overseas, meaning it will be due for its scheduled midlife styling update later this year. It has been confirmed for a European launch this November. Australian arrival timing is yet to be confirmed, but it is expected sometime next year.